Altora Verethlin. I was. So close. The well knows its vessel. And those who would despoil it. Stand aside, Inquisitor. And you are? I'm called Calpurnia. But when I partake of the well, names will be meaningless. Leave. This is not your time. Your hunt for the well claimed elves, Templars, your mages. It has to end. Perhaps you see further than I thought. You serve your people. You have one last chance to save them. The Well of Sorrows overflows with knowledge, power abandoned by those the Elves worshipped as gods. To walk the Fade without the Anchor, that is what the Well of Sorrows will give Corypheus. Why would Corypheus think entering the Fade will work any better than last time? Speech without understanding. I knew you would take the Well for yourself to ransack its wisdom to try to defeat Corypheus. Come then, one last sacrifice! <laughs> it will not be by your hand.
You heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Enough. You cannot honestly... I said enough. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. This can't be easy, holding on to what's left. You cannot imagine. Each time we awaken, it slips further from our grasp. Why remain? Why perform a duty without purpose? Our duty is all that remains. Those who drank from the Vera Balasan paid a great price, bound to the service of Mithal for eternity. You claim Mithal was truly a god? To you, it shall make no difference. into a corner and what if the well was destroyed or this entire temple are you so eager to die for sympathy's sake The decision to kill Abelas was mine, Morrigan, not yours. The elf nearly brought the walls down upon us. I did what had to be done to save something far more valuable. You'll note the intact Illuvian? I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Alluvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Alluvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Don't go any closer, Morrigan. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Do not trust her, Inquisitor. She's a parasite. Only here because she sensed a meal more hearty than you. Hmm. Said by one whose only motive for joining the Inquisition was altruism. Is it altruism or sense not to plunge headfirst into a power you don't remotely understand? Why should I be refused when the reasons to allow it are sound? Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor.
What's to stop you from taking the knowledge and leaving? My word. If that seems insufficient, Corypheus threatens all, even myself. He must be stopped. And who stops you? I, Inquisitor, seek neither immortality nor your life. If anyone is to use the well, it will be me. So you will take what little knowledge you can understand and let the rest go to waste? The Inquisition needs you. Corypheus still endangers us all. I am forever balked by those who believe they know better than I. Drink if you will, for the sake of us all, but steal your will to do it. Let her keep breathing. How do you feel? <laughs> 